things are going from bad to worse for the SMP establishments in this chaotic leadership election. The anti Kate Forbes mentality is now spread over uh, to a new level because they're now the SMP minions who want to continue with Hamza Youssef, who's basically going to be carrying on with what Nicholas Sturgeon was already doing, are now uh, escalating their efforts to, it, they come across as completely anti-women because they, they're going against anti uh, against uh, Kate Forbes as well as Ash Regan. And it's a bit weird that the way they are attacking them on a personal level, now we have Nicholas Sturgeon's sister coming out to say that, well, I'm going to be voting Tory now <laughs> because, I, because I don't agree with um, having uh, either Ash Regan or Kate Forbes as a leader replacing my sister. The only person who should replace my sister is the one who, who my sister said he is the chosen one. Humza useless. Now, <laughs> let's talk about Humza useless, uh, useless in a second. So Gillian Sturgeon, who's uh, Nicholas Sturgeon's sister, we found this uh, post on her Facebook, actually, uh, that said, I may lose Facebook friends, but as I always do, I'll say it anyway. So brave, Gillian. So brave. Tell us. Tell us your truth, Gillian. Your truth. She says, two females just now out to cause trouble and cast assumptions with no evidence. The fact that she said two females, instead of actually just focusing on the fact that they're, they're leadership candidates, she brought their gender into it. You know exactly why they do it. Even though Gillian herself is female, as far as we know, <laughs> these days you can't really assume anymore. They have a problem. They, 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 apart from Nicola Sturgeon, who happened to be a female leader, but, but apparently they don't really see her as female for, for various reasons. They don't want anybody else to be a woman. Women hate women. Like the, the women hatred against women on the political left has always been a thing. So Julian continues by saying, puppets on someone's strings, no doubt. What? And it's not difficult to work out who. Okay, that sentence is a bit weird. Uh, Gillian says, I would not want either of them running my country. Shameful and disgraceful. I mean, she could really do with some lesson on the grammar and everything else. It's just weird. She says, I would rather vote Tory than either of them. And I believe, and believe me, that's a very strong admission. That's how angry I am. And she uh, included an angry face emoji just to make sure that you know how angry she is. In case you were not really fully sure, <laughs> she also included an angry face. I'm so angry, I'm going to vote Tory. Are you kidding me? You know what it exposed? What this actually completely reveals? What we've been saying all along, that the SNP minions, all these people, they claim that they are so passionate about self-determination and independence for Scotland. They don't. They don't really believe in that. They don't really, they're not really on the side of the old school Scots centuries ago who were fighting against the English. They're using that story, the history of uh, this country, for their own interest. First things first, they don't want independence because they want to leave the United Kingdom and join the European Union, another union, uh, which, is, which means that they will be even more uh, dependent on another uh, entity, which is in, in, it's worse because it's foreign powers, it's a foreign entity. Not only that, the fact that someone like Gillian Sturgeon could come out and say, I would rather vote for the Tory party, the Conservative and Unionist party, a party that will literally prevent independent Scotland, than vote for another SNP candidate that still believes in independent Scotland, that still believes in the main cause, just because I don't like them personally, and just because they're women. This completely exposes what we've been saying all along, that these people are simply control freaks who want to control Scotland and create this authoritarian mechanism to be able to implement their own socialist ideology. That's what it is. Because if they were even truly old school leftists and pro-independence, they would not fall for the trap of wokeism like the way Nicola Sturgeon did. That should not be a priority right now for the Scottish government or the SNP for that matter to focus on 100 genders or all this stuff. You should focus on if you truly believe in your cause, if you truly believe in independent Scotland and self-determination, then you focus on, firstly, while you're in government, you implement the right policies, you make Scotland great again, and then you could use it as your, as again, showcase the, 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 the reality of what could happen if 
Scotland becomes independent. But no, this is not really their priority. And that's it, it's a perfect example of what Gillian Sturgeon posted on Facebook with an angry face emoji. Anyway, uh, let's take a break. We're going to come back and we're going to talk about the Labour Party uh, because they now have a problem, again, with border control as a policy. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.